After identifying the family of uh, distribution, the next step is to estimate the parameters of the distribution. Uh, estimators for the distributions are actually described. So we use those estimators and uh, we are going to estimate um, some values for the parameters of <coughs> various types of um, distribution. So uh, coming to this parameter estimation, so whatever the distributions we are going to consider uh, with respect to the parameters, the estimation or the approximation uh, to some value it is always um, made by considering the sample mean and the variance. Actually, these two are used to estimate the parameters of hypothesis distribution. And uh, why actually we need this um, parameter estimation is once again um, to test the resulting hypothesis. Now coming to this parameter estimation, so as I told, um, uh, this uh, parameter um, uh, estimation, they are always um, uh, used to estimate the parameters of the hypothesized distribution with respect to what the sample mean and sample variance. Now once again, uh, this sample mean and sample variance, uh, we are going to consider with respect to whether the data is discrete or continuous, fine, and once again whether uh, these data are grouped or or ungrouped, whether these data are grouped or ungrouped. Now, for an example, if you want to consider uh, with respect to the grouped, fine, that is grouped data. I think yesterday we saw the arrival and frequency um, of, um, of a vehicle as an example. Now there, since we are using a frequency, that is an histogram uh, to represent the frequency, it is nothing but a group of data. Fine. Whereas uh, we took one more example, I'll just I'll show what is the other one, where we don't have the frequency, we, you can consider that as what? An ungrouped data. Now, whenever it comes, if the observation in a sample size of n, where n gives the number of samples are x1, x2 and xn, fine. So this represents your xi value, fine. Uh, discrete or continuous, the sample mean and the variance are given by using this formula. Fine. Where the mean is given by what? X bar, which is equal to, once again, summation from i equals to n, that is xi divided by what? That is n. And once again, the variance is what? Summation of from i equals to 1 to n, x of i square minus n into x bar square divided by n minus 1. Now, if the data are discrete and have been grouped in a frequency distribution, then this is the formula we will be using what to once again perform what uh, the sample mean and sample variance. It is nothing but if I have um, xi value and fi, fi, that is the frequency value. Fine. Example, in the previous um, video, we saw uh, the arrival of a vehicle with respect to arrival time and the frequency where we had from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Along with this, there was value similar to this. The frequency of um, vehicles arriving 0 is 12, then something like 10 and so on. So these type of data, they are called as group data. So whenever the data are discrete and have a group in a frequency distribution, then X bar, the mean is calculated by using this formula and um, variance is calculated by using this formula, where Fi is the observed frequency of the value Xj. Fine. Once again, uh, when a raw data are unavailable, it is nothing but when a raw data are unavailable, data are grouped into what? The class intervals. The approximate sample mean and variance. So this is one more condition where uh, we'll be using, uh, once again, the mean and the variance, where when the raw data are unavailable and data are grouped into class intervals, the approximate sample mean and variance are given by using this formula, where fj is once again the observed frequency in the jth class interval, mj is the midpoint of uh, the interval that we are going to consider, c is the number of class of intervals. A parameter is an unknown constant, but an estimator is a statistic. Fine. Now, if I consider something like um, a Python distribution, in Python distribution, the parameter is always alpha. Fine. So I need to estimate some value for this parameter and the value will be estimated by using the estimators that are already described and we are going to assign some value to this um, parameter either by using what now calculating the mean and the variance based on whether it is a discrete data or a continuous data with respect to the grouped or ungrouped data. Fine. Now I'll just I'll take an example. see here uh, this is an example here uh, 
uh, example here so um, i considered um, a parameter estimation so here once again mean calculated by using this formula for a what ungrouped data and the mean for group data is xi into fi divided by fi variance for ungrouped data this is the formula and for group data this is the formula and um, actually um, the suggested estimators that we are going to consider is um, this i consider only for three distributions and uh, for other distributions uh, the suggested estimator and the parameters are available in the textbook you can just uh, look into it just i consider this because uh, i'll be solving some of the problems by using these um, estimators the first one is um, the python the estimate parameter is alpha the estimated the suggested estimator that we are going to consider is what the mean value exponential lambda the suggested estimates that we are going to consider is what always the value that is one divided by which one the mean value normal distribution we have um, two parameters one is mean the second one is the variance the suggested estimators we'll be considering is one is what the mean value the second one is the variance value that is s square right and once again we'll be calculating this based on whether it is a group data or an ungrouped data the mean and the variance now consider this okay but we'll just consider uh, one problem related to group data one more with respect to ungrouped data the following data represents the number of arrivals estimate the value of parameter and also find what the variance estimate the value of parameters since they have not specified uh, for which family of distribution whether it is python exponential or normal i'll be calculating it for alpha okay and we'll also try to calculate for lambda also now arrival xi we have so 0 1 2 3 up to 11 and frequency fi it is nothing but for 0 which is the frequency of 12 okay some values that are grouped for 1 some values are grouped okay on 2 once again some values are grouped so the type of data we are considering is what type of data it is a group data and once again if i just consider with respect to the arrival and frequency this is data is of discrete type okay there is a particular interval here so it is a discrete type now coming to this solution i need to calculate what also find the variance and estimate the value of parameter now coming to this the arrival xi i consider this values once again that is the column that is representing that frequency fi is this value now to calculate the mean and the variance for uh, group data, I need xi into fi, that is summation of xi into fi, once again summation of fi. So it is nothing but I'm just I'm finding summation of fi, which is equal to 100. Then once again, xi into fi, I need to calculate. So I'm calculating the values between xi and fi, and this is the column that is representing the value. Once again, take the summation of this particular value. The complete column then once again to calculate the uh, variance for group data i need summation of xi square into fi so that is what i'm doing here xi square into fi once again i'm calculating the value xi is what it is zero square into fi is 12 then one square into 10 two square into 19 so i'm calculating this value and once again take the summation of this particular value now for group data calculate mean and variance mean is calculated by using the formula summation of xi into fi the values here 364 divided by summation of fi it is 100 364 divided by 100 which is equal to 3.64 and the variance is what once again summation of um, xi square into fi minus n where n is the number of samples so how many samples i consider here 1 2 3 4 5 up to 11 totally it is 12 so the value of n will be how much now the value of n is 12 and then once again uh, this is once again um, mean square value this is the mean value to the power of square once again summation of fi value already we are calculated here minus one so if you just substitute the values you are going to get the variance value as what well, that is 19.40 now since if i'm considering uh, the distribution of the python process so the parameter is alpha okay the estimator of this parameter is always given by what that is x bar Fine. it is nothing but the mean value it is nothing but this alpha value the estimated value of this parameter for the python distribution is 3.64 now again if i consider one more that is um, exponential lambda so if i consider exponential lambda so if we have lambda okay the estimated parameter for the exponential distribution lambda it is always what one divided by okay the mean value so the lambda value will be how much now so it is one divided by three point so that is how we are going to calculate the estimated value for the parameters of the uh, chosen uh, family of distribution.
Now, going to the second one, the following uh, data follows normal distribution. So I need to calculate, okay, the parameter, the estimated, um, our parameter estimation values for which one now, the normal distribution. If I take the normal distribution, fine, the parameters are mean and variance. The estimated or the suggested parameter is what? For this mean, okay, I calculate mean value. For this mean, I'll calculate the variance value. Again, while calculating the mean and the variance, I should check with the type of data, whether it is a group data or an ungrouped data. Now coming to this, here estimate the values of parameters. I have some values here, one, two, three, some around 20 values, so 99.7. So these are random here and they are not grouped, right? So this data I can consider as what type of uh, data now? It is ungrouped data. It is ungrouped data. So I estimate the parameters, mu, that is mean and the variance. Now since, okay, n equals to 20, because there are 20 values here, consider that. Then once again, for ungrouped, you check here, I, the formula that we'll be using is summation of xi divided by n for ungrouped mean, and summation of xi square minus n into mean square divided by n minus one for ungrouped. So I need to take this value, then once again, so, what we'll do is you consider this calculate what summation of x i it is nothing but 99.79 plus 99.56 plus standard 0 0.17 100.33 .33 up to uh, plus 99.85 we'll get the answer as what 199.73 now calculate the mean so mean equals to summation of x i divided by n so 199.73 divided by n equals to 20. so substitute this so the mean value you are going to get is 99.9865 so for the normal distribution, the mean value is how much now? The estimated such estimated value is how much now? 99.9865. Then once again, I need to calculate the variance. So summation of xi square, it is nothing but 99.79 square plus 99.56 square plus 100.17 square and so on up to the last number that is 99.85 square. So if I just calculate, we'll get the answer as 199.47.5271. Use the variance formula, substitute the values, you'll get the answer as 0 0.5. 080. So once again, uh, since for the normal distribution, the parameters are mean and the variance value. So calculate the suggested estimator is what one is the mean, the second one is the variance value. So x value, once again, we have what that is 99.98. So it is 99 point, okay, 98. And s square value is how much now that is 0 0.080.